Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about clavipectoral facial plane block, and this is Dr. Terkawi, currently an assistant professor at the Department of Anesthesiology, Perioperative and Pain Medicine at Stanford University. So hopefully you watch the, uh, the first lecture, which is the fundamental of truncal region and analgesia that I covered all the uh, relevant anatomy in the abdomen and thoracic uh, uh, wall. And I am covering all these lectures, so uh, you can find a video for each one. Now, um, clavipectoral facial plane block is a relatively new uh, block that um, this is, uh, as far as I know, this is the first paper was talking about this block uh, in 2019. Then there is a few case reports uh, came after that and uh, there is one uh, randomized clinical trial that I'm gonna uh, mention in the next slide. So relevant anatomy, uh, this is uh, cranial caudal. We are looking at this area here, taking this cut. So this is the clavicle, right? Um, this is the pectoral major muscle. As you see, it's attached to the clavicle. And here you have the uh, subclavius uh, muscle. Uh, above that, you get the omohyoid and you get the platysma, very thin la uh, layer, uh, the muscle. So the uh, uh, investing uh, layer of deep uh, cervical fascia here, and then you have the uh, clavi. Uh, clavipectoral fascia, which as you see here, it uh, um, sandwich the subclavius uh, muscle and it go underneath the uh, pectoralis major and then on top of the clavicle and it continue uh, below that as well. Um, the idea of this block that uh, hopefully if you inject inside this space, then you will catch all uh, the innervation. And here is another picture. Uh, the, the first case report uh, basically described this technique for clavicular fracture with two injection medial and lateral to the fracture. So here is another anatomical view. And again, as you see, the sub uh, the subclavi uh, clavius muscle uh, um, sandwiched by the, uh, the fascia, um, the uh, clavi pectoral fa uh, fascia, and then uh, this is your pectoralis um, uh, major muscle here. And then um, again, this is the clavicle omohyoid here and platysma from uh, above. So how we do this? Um, position the, your patient in a supine position, use a linear transducer, turn the head to the contralateral side just to give yourself more space, um, insert the needle uh, in plane from caudal to cephalic uh, uh, direction, and it's typically as it uh, prescribed in the first paper, it's a two injection, medial and lateral to the fracture, um, and in each injection, you're going to give 10 to 15 mL. Most of the papers use total 30 mL. And the injection has to be between the uh, periosteum uh, of the clavicle and the clavipectoral fascia. Uh, some author may use more uh, single. I have seen it in, 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 in some paper. They use single injection at the uh, medial third of the clavicle. Um, potentially, you are uh, or you should cover terminal branches of many sensory nerve like the suprascapular, the subclavian, lateral pectoral, long thoracic nerve. Uh, as all these nerve passes uh, through the plane between the clavipectoral fascia and the clavicle itself. 
uh, we still don't have a good um, anatomical study for this block, but at least that's what uh, most of the author agreed on. Now, obviously, um, the only indication so far, I could uh, find the clavicle fracture and its surgery. And this is the only uh, clinical trial that's published so far. It's, it's, it's a small clinical trial. There is a 20 patient in each group, but as you know, it's hard to have um, a large trial um, with clavicle fracture because it's not that uh, common fracture uh, compared to other type of fractures. So basically this author uh, used 30 mil. They exactly used the technique that I uh, showed you and two injection media and lateral. They found clinical and significant, uh, clinically and statistically pain reduction up to 12 hours and opioid consumption reduction up to 24 hours. Contraindication again, a general contraindication. So patient refusal, allergy to local anesthetic, infection at the site, bleeding disorder. Potential complication, none reported so far, but again, there is a potential last complica complication, infection and um, bleeding. Hopefully you are away enough from the lung, so we don't need to worry about a pneumothorax. Here are some pictures about ultrasound pictures. So clavicle, and then in this layer between the pectoralis major and subclavius, you have the clavipectoral fascia, as you see. So it will go above the clavicle as well as below. And then here you have the, the platysma, and the omohyoid here. So um, this, we are coming um, from this side, obviously this is the needle. So as you see, you have to touch the periosteum and, and between the periosteum and so you can appreciate here the, 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 the clavipectoral fascia. So you go here and inject and you watch them uh, separated. Thank you for watching.